All right, what is good, y'all? What's up, y'all? Here, and I'm back again. 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 I'm back again with another video. And today, man, I'm using like a different setup because I want to bang out these videos because I'm literally about to go to the airport, get my friend, and go to Miami. So I want to have some videos so you guys can watch while I'm in Miami. You know what I'm saying? So, and I don't want to edit, man, because editing takes a little bit. So I'm just doing it straightforward, uncut. So let's get ready, man. This is uncut, J. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> Too hype. All right. So in this video, man, we got more delusional modern women. We know how delusional a lot of women can be, man, these days. So this video is going to showcase all of it, man. All of the bullshit. No further ado. Let's get to it. Oh, sir. But did you, did you hear what I just said? Him. I don't yeah. think you heard what I said. I said when a single when, when yeah if if a if a woman comes into a man's life and he has a child, that man mm. nine out of ten times isn't really gonna care if that woman puts in financially to support that child. That's facts. If we reverse the roles, put a, a, a single man with a single mother, that single mom is at some point if they become serious expecting that man yep. to handle some kind of financial burden. That's the difference. So men have way more to lose dealing with a single mom than a woman dealing with a single dad. Single dad isn't gonna hold a woman to the same financial burden that a single mom is gonna hold a man. That's why we tell guys, it's not in your best interest to raise a child that isn't yours. I know you're saying, well, hey, well, you know, she ain't gonna, she might not even bring them around, whatever. That's true, man. Especially if you have a connection with the child, she can remove that child out your life any moment, man, because you have no rights to the child. It's not yours. It's not yours. And what do I look like sliding into a girl's life to pay for her and her kid too, man. I didn't ask for that kid, you know what I'm saying? So that's the logic behind it. But what we're saying is, why even go down that road? Okay, he spent why nothing but facts. Why talking about marriage? If you accept a two marriage. I mean, what's the problem two with marriage? a two separate household marriage? What is the problem with that? But who said that's not a marriage? Who <laughs> Look at made his face. That? Why you cannot be in two separate places? Why do we have a problem with two houses? Okay, first of all, why are you married and living in two separate houses? That makes no sense. You might as well stay single or just stay, you know, just stay as boyfriend and girlfriend, pretty much. Makes no sense, man. I can't believe she's asking this question right now. Oh, marriages, because everybody, ain't nobody in here married living in two households. Exactly, man. Okay. Hey, Steve be getting some of these girls right, man. I gotta give him credit where it's due. He be getting some of these girls. He be getting on the ass, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. No. Okay, but everybody also in the audience don't live the same either. So, this is my life. So, I'm just asking. Yeah, it's your life, baby. You can do what you want. Yeah, she don't like her husband at all like that, man. Why am married to go live separately? <laughs> that defeats the whole purpose of marriage. That shit sound dumb as hell, man. Dude, <laughs> I'm just, this, this, you said from a male perspective. Yeah. You want me to marry you and go live in another house. Right. <laughs> what you think I'm going to be doing in this other house? No. Fucking. Cheating. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just from the male perspective. Okay. I didn't, okay, but you can come over. <laughs> okay, let, okay. But what kind of marriage is she in, man? I'm very curious. <laughs> let me ask you this question. Okay. Why do you want to be married? I don't necessarily have to be married. Okay. I don't, but he oh, so she's wants not married. to, and I do love him. Okay, do you think a man... Oh, so she wants to stay in separate houses. She don't love him like that, man. She don't love him like that. If, she just, if this was a guy that she truly loves, admires, and respects, man, she would be head over heels when he proposes. She would move in. She would have his kids. No questions asked. No questions asked, man. She could survive if y'all live in two households yes, in the same city. I do. Who, who else do. feels that way? I she do. feels that way? Okay, well, well, watch this. Well, no, no, I'm going to help you out. Stand up now. You think that could work? Yes, I do. Okay, now, huh? Just hey, stop. Call her ass out. That's the crap. You ready? Let's see what she got to say. Are you married? No. Okay. Exactly. Case closed. He got her with that, man. Ladies and gentlemen, got her ass. Got her ass. You not married. Sit the fuck back down. 
<laughs> hey, this is why you don't take advice from single people if you want to be married or in a good relationship, man. Single people will give you horrible advice because they are not in relationships. They haven't been in marriages. They don't give you horrible advice. They'll give you advice to say single and bitter like them, pretty much. The only other person in here that think what you said is a good idea is the other pretty lady that ain't, ain't married. married. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Still the ladies, but um, if you go on a date with me and you on your period and it's our first date, that's a red flag. <laughs> we just could meet up another day. You know, ladies be in their emotional feelings. It's, it's a different atmosphere with y'all on, on that time. And then, let's say we, we vibing. I'm going for the... I hate to hear... Oh, it's that time. Because I know y'all motherfucking lying. <laughs> About the amount of times I've heard that when I'm trying to make a move on a girl, she's literally in my bed. And I make a move. She said, oh, but I'm on my period. I can't right now. I hate hearing that shit, bro. That's 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 just one of the worst. Like, why did you let me get this far just to say that? Why? That's not a first day. That's a red flag. Hey, kid, mom. You're not acting like an adult. Oh, I remember this video. You're not acting like an adult right now. Adults don't do this. You're not acting like an adult. Yeah, man, you can't do OnlyFans with Asian parents, man. They come to this country. So you can have a good education and make good money as a decent citizen. They did not come here for you to study your body on the internet. So of course she's mad. I expect her to act like this. You are 40 or 50 years old, and I am 19 years old. Hello. And <laughs> Did she just throw a gum at her? And she don't know how, how old her mom is, man. That still gets me. She said 40 or 50. How do you, how you not know how, how old your mom is, bro? You are acting like a kid. You don't throw stuff at your kid like that. Okay. Her mom kind of pretty, though. I'll throw stuff out. I hit. Okay. <laughs> I'll add one more for you. Okay? Get me out of Jamaica because these niggas said they don't eat pussy and his lady don't respect him if he want him to eat pussy. Ziggy Marley, that's why you paddling alone. Paddling alone. Paddling alone. Yeah, guys, I'm Jamaican too, man. The culture down there, we just don't eat pussy, man. We don't eat pum pum. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's frowned upon to eat the pum pum. A bad man don't eat the pum pum. You know, you know what I say? Umbaclot. Yeah, it's just, it's just the culture, guys. It's just a culture. Cause you're not eating pussy! Yeah, Bob Mon don't eat the pump boom. You rather stay here and eat pussy. Why do you don't want a green card? Eat some pussy and get a green card. Eat some pussy, and get a green card. Eat some pussy yeah. She was a green card. Last week in regards to the lack of femininity in the modern women, right? And I had a lot of guys agree, so I hope that they agree with part two. I think there's a valuable conversation around why the modern woman, so to speak, seems to be behaving in a more masculine than feminine way. And I would assert a lot of it has to do with the lack of masculinity in the modern man. There's a lot of conversation about allowing men to lead. However, I don't think there's enough fair conversation about teaching men how to lead properly so that women feel comfortable letting go and allowing them to take the wheel. We have a generation of men who are full of excuses, whose parents coddled them, who don't hold their friends and their loved ones accountable when they see that they're doing some bullshit and then you're surprised when women don't want to follow. If I believe I had the right answers, I wouldn't follow you neither. So to be fair, I think there needs to be conversations on both sides in order to strengthen the relationship amongst us all. Okay, I actually, I actually agree with her, man. There are a lot of guys that's pussy. You know what I'm saying? I was A lot of guys that grew up with their moms tend up not to be good leaders like that because I did grow up with my mom. I was very coddled as a child. It wasn't until I like I learned, I went out to school, to college, saw more, went away from my family, experienced more to really hone in on me being or becoming a man. You know what I'm saying? And with my ex, I was never that good of a leader. I, I realized I was never that good of a leader, man. I had to go through all the shit to realize what I was doing. And for I had to go through the grilling, someone to be honest with me and tell me the truth, man, so I could step up and be the man. So a lot of us right now don't know how to be good leaders. And... 
there's a lot of girls that just masculine as hell because they either grow up with their mom and their mom taught them the same independent shit. You don't need no man mentality. And then once they get with a man, they just clash because they're trying to be a man. They're trying to have a penis too. You know what I'm saying? So it's definitely both sides, man. We got to do some work on both sides. We got men got to men gotta get stronger and be leaders, man. And women got to learn how to be more in their feminine side, man. It's just off balance right now. So I, I agree with her fully. Women are making their own money. And when you are making money, that like power comes with that. Ego comes with that. Entitlement comes with that. And we can sit here and, and dance around it in the ideal world. Yeah, I'm, I'm making a lot of money, but I'm very humble and I'm very open. To, no, you're not. No, you're not. You're not open to a motherfucker telling you how to spend the money that you made. So what that means... Is and speaking of money, that's also a factor why women are becoming more masculine too because they're making their own money. They say independent. Oh, I don't need no man. A man can't tell me to do shit. But you can't have that mentality in a relationship. You might as well just stay single. Is is that? It's like that man's gonna have hell trying exactly. to work with this woman, and that's why most women in this era that are making legitimate money are difficult to deal with. They exactly. are difficult. It exactly. is what it is. As a modern day woman, I can respect a man. Just look how, look how, just just listen to her tone, bro. She automatically came in with that agitated, attacking energy. Like what the fuck? I ain't trying to. Who are you talking to like that? You know what I'm saying? And without, without thinking he has. She sounds like a headache already. <laughs> to make more money than me in order to respect him. As a modern day woman, you are not letting a man control you and how you move. You are not. You can of sit course. here and say exactly. That's what I'm saying. But traditionally, men controlled but the environment. I, I, I don't see it as control. I see it as a joint. Like I said, it's maybe we have differences in how the tradition works, right? Mm -hmm. You think it's all about control. Coming from a, a Vietnamese-Asian household, we let the man speak for us and do what needs to be. But before that, there's also that joint decision and joint um, communication of what things are about to happen. But does he have veto power? No. no. Stop. Stop it. No. We're we not going to do that. We're not going to sit here and say Asian men don't have veto power. I have last say. I'm, I'm the man of this family. That's how that's how the that's how the heritage works. We ain't gonna we just say do that. Yeah, like the fuck. Yeah, that's in Asian culture. That's how it is, man. The man has the final say. The man runs the household. So I guess I guess she's just brainwashed by America. We're not gonna do that. No, men do not have veto power. You are speaking very anecdotal. <laughs> Yeah, like crazy. way more they think their pussy buys them anything the social know? media boy yeah it's social media it really yeah, keeps a lot of people's heads up because like i know City girls like i know a lot it's of working. i know a lot of women and like i mean and there's men that love these type of girls you know what i'm saying because yeah. these women serve as things that get men ahead in certain places mm -hmm. you know like you have a bad bitch with you you know what i'm saying like you yeah but that shit never lasts though like Name a good, healthy, non-toxic relationship with a bad bitch. That's all over social media. You know what I'm saying? It's always toxic, bro. Utilize that relationship. Bad bitch opens doors. Yes. True. But not every bad bitch. Not every best bitch Smart opens bad doors. bitch opens doors. <laughs> not every... Bitch. You can't just be bad and have no value. The you know right what I'm bad saying? bitch like, opens doors. Yeah. Like... Nah, yeah. This, this... Why do so many women today say they don't need a man? Because we're independent as hell. If a man has friends, doesn't want kids, hires a maid, and hires a prostitute, why would a man need a woman? <laughs> That's a great question. Like, I've seen some of this man's videos before. He just does great follow-up questions to let them soak in the concept, man. He's, he's great at this. Shit. <laughs> I think I learned a thing, oh, one or thing, two or thing, well, one or two <laughs> things from a woman. Like what? Yeah, love. <laughs> okay, are you think? Do you think that men are incapable of love without a woman teaching them? Why do women think they're the ones who should define love and emotions? Because we're more passionate, right? Yeah, it, yeah, we're where, more passionate. Where's the evidence of that? Okay. Carmen's a bitch. They always go back to birth, man. She she couldn't answer she couldn't answer his question. She just, so she just goes to birth. To birth. Oh, I birthed a child, so I know what is love. 
and you were acting up, smashing older married men, and now you yourself are old, and you got a married man, and the competition is real, sis, because now the next generation coming after you got 10 times the daddy issues, and they'll smash your man in front of your face. Oh, my God. They'll have that kind of audacity. <laughs> the next generation not going to carry your home or not. She's going to FaceTime you. This, that, this next generation is about to be devastating, bro. It's about to be devious, bro. It's about to be the devious. If something don't change, it's going to shit. While she's doing it, and tell you what you're gonna do about it. <laughs> Audacity's, I mean, next level. Women, you're digging your own grace because these young girls today, I'm telling you, they look ruthless. <laughs> you old hoes got it coming, man. It's trouble. <laughs> yeah. Never did that. Mm -hmm. I was just messaging him because I wanted money, so I'm like, let me flirt back and forth with him to see if I can get money. And I did, so that was whatever, mm -hmm. but it's like, I Go to his room, friends. I don't know exactly which one it says. Like, how Go to it. It's anonymous. Go to it. You, you know, you know. No, I don't. Go to I, it. Do you want me to make you know Back in Houston. No, I don't know. Get off of it. Damn, so you're telling me that she's getting money from another guy. And he got exposed. And now she like this on his leg. She... I would have left too, man. I would have left too. Fuck all that. Women, get off of me. I don't know No, because you, you... I'll send you $10,000. Send it right now. Send it right now. She sent $2,500. Wait, is that her? Oh, another red flag is mm -hmm. kiss. Whoa, that was her? <laughs> yeah, she for the streets. Under five, relationship still alive. Okay, if you got touch under five, you still deal with your baby mama. I'm not, I ain't about to do that. Your kids have to be a certain age for me to even deal with you. Yeah, yeah because right. no. So anything over five years of age, then yeah, 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 good. Like, still a little scat, but yeah. I mean, it's easier to jump in there. Yeah. Because yeah. it's like, you got five. If the kid is five, it takes yeah. nine months, that's almost a year for pregnancy. That's like six years. That has six years to like. You got the down to a science. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You, you have, have to. to. You have to have a down to a science because messing with guys is like a science. It's not no, it's never going to be a one two, three thing when it comes to math. What is like respectful in a relationship? Like Trusting the person and not paying somebody to see if they would cheat. But it happened. Not true. You went on a date with this girl. It wasn't a date. She literally told me that you took her out to eat. No. Yeah, and you guys hooked up. You can't sit here and deny that. I am denying because it's not true. It, okay, sure. She's a client and after we were working out, we got food, which was a- And I saw this video and she ended up looking stupid. Across the street. That's not what walked. she told me. That's what I'm telling you. She told you. me you guys had sex. I'm telling you we didn't. So are you saying she's lying? I'm saying she's lying. Let's find out Bitch from her. Bitch lying. Okay. All right. She lying. Oh my God. Paula, can you tell him what you told me? So I pretty much told her that he took me to this really fancy restaurant and afterwards we went back to my place and hooked up. And that he came on to you in the car and you guys were kissing? Yes. Yeah, see? Well, why would you sit here and lie? I lied because... So you weren't telling wait. the truth? I didn't think that she deserved you, so I lied. We're oh my god. Clearly, she doesn't value the faithful, amazing man that you are. I thought... Exactly, man. She had a nerve to do all this and believe a strange girl than her man. Hey, man. If one girl don't see her value, another one will. Yeah. You know, maybe I have a chance because... So you thought you had a chance with him, so you're trying to homewreck us so that you can be with him? Nah, you homewrecked y'all. You a homewreck, y'all. Wow. Thanks. She lied to my face. And what have I been saying? Exactly. <laughs> Matter of fact, it's not gonna work. I figured it out. No, it's not gonna work. No, it's not gonna work. I know, but it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. So she's approaching a guy. A guy approached her that has kids, but she doesn't want him. But she has five kids. Yeah, that made no sense. Respecting me the whole time I've been at the car, all I did coming to you know respecting me. Uh uh, uh, it's not gonna work. You got two, you got children, everything. Uh uh. But you got five. You got a whole basketball roster. And I get all. I follow my mother. He starts to whoop your mother. Don't play with me. Don't play that with your boy. Get a better. Yo, why she why she got so triggered when he said she? This man, he spoke no lies. It's truth. She got a basketball roster. It's five kids. It's all truth. 
She got so mad, bro, when he... <laughs> Ashley, it's not that she's doing it by herself. It's that she, she got with a man who had a whole personality, habits, everything that he did that she didn't like. Maybe she looked past all that because he was quote-unquote high value. That's her fault. You can't just blame that somebody to be a new person sure. they've always been. She needs to suck it up and deal with it. And she should stay married. Absolutely. Okay. He knew who he was when she heard It would be okay. different if he started it. Okay, I don't know what the fuck was going on. But this, it's not a whole lot of bodies, it's a whole lot of experience. And let me tell you something, I, I, me, no, it's not. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. I had to get experience. But for, for me to be the girl that you're so in love with in the bedroom, I'm sorry, you don't wanna know how I learned how to do that thing that you like. You don't wanna learn how I know how to take the dick that way. I had to go through a different, I had to go through a couple of penises to learn that I don't like big dick. I don't, I don't, that's not how I orgasm. That's not how I get like to get hit from the back. I'm sorry, I appreciate all the bodies. Cause it made me the, the super one when I am in the bedroom for the day that I, I plan to spend the rest of my life with. And also, Okay, I'm, this, Having this, a lot of on. bodies, I tell my nigga now, I'm glad you met me in the space that I am now. Why? Because I done fucked everybody I wanted to fuck. So it's easy for me to be fucking baby. That's so repulsive, bro. Fuck. You don't need you don't need a lot of bodies to have some experience. I'd rather my girl stays with I'd rather my girl be in relationships, in long relationships. And you can learn what you like from being, from having sex with the same person for a period of time. And y'all could like try new things here and there. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to rack up all these bodies. That just shows me that you're quick to jump from dick to dick to dick. You have no relationship value. But if my girl has been in relationships, like a couple relationships has two bodies, I know, I know that she will be good will be a good girlfriend because she knows how to be in relationships. She knows how to be long term. But her, I would definitely not cuff her up, man, because she's she she sees sex. Sex is less valuable to her, man, because she's just been jumping from dick to dick. dick. Uh, it's just sex. You know what I'm saying? It's just sex. She can leave me at any moment, bro. If the sex is not good, she can leave at any moment. So what she's saying is some backwards ass shit. And with that said, I'm gonna end the video, man. I don't watch no more. <laughs> I don't watch no more, y'all. I uh. Let me know if you like when I do videos this way. You know what I'm saying? Let me know. Let me know, man. Let me know. But this might be temporary, though. It's not here to stay. It's not here to stay. But let me know if you do like to see me do videos in this way. But with that said, I'll see you on the next one, man. And I got a vlog channel coming up that I'm about to post my Miami vlogs on. So I'll let y'all know when that channel is up and ready. But yeah, I'm about to go to Miami tomorrow, man. It's about to be a blast. It's my birthday week, so you know I'm about to get turned up. And I'm also going to film a few interview videos down there in South Beach, too, for y'all. So stay tuned for those, and I'll see you on the next video, man. Bye.